Hello my friends and welcome. Katie here with Eastwick's Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm here for my unbagging video. I had asked in my previous video if that's something you guys would be interested in and several of you said you would like to see it. So that's what this video is for. My thought process when I pack uh, for travel is for the craft supplies is is there a technique that I want to try I pack supplies for those is there projects that I need to get done I pack supplies for those so uh, this is my imagine craft mat um, I use that to protect my surfaces ink blend all that kind of stuff and because I'm at my mother-in-law's I want to make sure that I had something that could protect um, any surface that I might use in her house. Quick update as I go through the card stocks and I keep showing you this craft mat. Um, Mom's doing better every day. She gets a little bit stronger, which is great. Um, she had a drain in bag in the side of, you know, on her abdomen that got removed on Wednesday. And so we are actually preparing to head back home, all of us to North Carolina next week sometime. So um, she's got another scan that she's got to get done on her pancreas to make sure everything's working okay and get a little bit more blood work done. But um, the doctor said it's going to be a couple of months before, you know, she she really gets pseudo normal. Um, so I want to thank all of you for your kind words and your prayers. It really means a lot to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos and uh, leave me such wonderful comments and um, about my family and my mother-in-law. So thank you very, very much. So some of the cardstock, again, as I had mentioned earlier, I packed based on projects for this, this go around. When I came here at the beginning of September, I packed a couple of supplies based on doing a technique. I wanted to practice on my that linen cardstock that I embossed with my um, polychromos to see if they would blend. They don't, by the way. Um, so I had a technique in mind to try and to, to practice or whatever and see, see what I could do with it. So use that as your starting point. Do you want to try some techniques or do you want have some projects that you want to get done or need to get done? Um, so in this case, projects. So I went through a couple of the card stocks. I know I, as I'm skimming through, I know that I packed some 500 uh, series Strathmore watercolor paper, hot pressed. Um, I've got some black card stock. I've got the red there. These are the star dreams. This is some vellum. Uh, that's the translucent vellum, uh, 48 pound, but they also, which I need to get, is the 65 pound uh, translucent vellum over at cutcardstock.com and then this is the curious translucent pearl cardstock and you can see it's a little bit more opaque um, not fully transparent and then um, it's got that pearlized sheen to it and it's a bit heavier weight now this is the classic crust um, epic black cardstock in 130 pound weight so good for card bases and things like that also sold at cut cardstock all this stuff with the exception of the watercolor papers sold at cut cardstock then i've got the 80 pound cougar super smooth um, cardstock and then i've got my nina 110 pound solar white cardstock for my card bases um, the little container I picked up at Walmart a couple years ago, and I use that when I need to transport cardstock. The, it keeps it nice and, and flat and crisp, and I don't have to worry. I also, the 5x7s have the silver lapis lazuli, that metallic cardstock there is from Tim Holtz, um, in copper, rose gold, silver gold. Um, and then I use that also, this container also for my cards that are finished to transport back and then scraps as well and in the top I folded up my craft mat and it, it goes inside that when I travel so this is my little tool pouch and in it is basic tool supplies so I've got uh, some pens so I've got a gold a silver and a white gel pen and then I've got my Teflon bone folder. I've got oh, uh, 
misty creative corner I've got that little ruler there to give me different angles if I need it uh, if nothing else just a straight edge uh, anti-static powder tool I've got some of the pink and main mini blender brushes and easy to clean I've got an extra dongle because I use the dongle for my microphone that I'm using right now uh, the little mini blender brushes are perfect because you can use as many colors as you want because you can clean in between. I've got my Faber-Castell uh, pencil sharpener for my colored pencils. Uh, like I said, an anti-static powder tool. I've got some mini scissors. I've got my, that's a, just a powder brush to dust off any uh, colored pencil shavings. Uh, reverse tweezers, pokey tool. This is my microphone that I use to do my voiceovers, and which not a necessity, not required. If you're not filming videos, I happen to you know need to be filming videos. So some of the supplies I bought brought were specifically for that. I've got a couple different size micron pens, and I've got a nail file. That's just an extra little charging cord for something. And the nail file is to clean off some blending stumps that I have if I need to clean them off. And these are my Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. Um, you, I brought these because they're the most versatile. So the thing about these is they're one for one for the polychromos colors in the 120 set. So if you use your polychromos and you have a specific specific color combination, these are gonna you can match those up. The th other thing about the these colored pencils is that you can use them just like a regular polychromos. You can blend and do all that stuff, but you have the option to add color to them. So you're not limited to just colored pencils. You can use them as a watercolor pencil as well. And I like to have a couple different mediums, so that was one of the mediums I bought, brought with me. And then this bag, I'm trying to show you, but it's hard to put everything in the frame, is the Stampin' Up bag. So it gives you a size um, of how big the bags are. Uh, that came out, I think, last year. Um, so some staples, mini scoring board. Um, no reason if you've got a small one to bring a large one. Just bring a little mini scoring board. That way, if you're creating cards and not just like layouts and things that you actually can put your cards together. So scoring tool. This is my lone Distress Oxide. It's in the package. I got it free from uh, scrapbook.com in an order as a freebie. I don't own any more of those. I may never own more of those, um, but it's green. We're in the fall and winter, so it was ideal to pack. Same die set that I used in the pink and main hop, so I just kept those in the bag, the Celebrate stamp and coordinating die. Uh, those are the blending stumps, and my dad and stepmom, their birthdays are in the month of September, and I still have not mailed out their cards. But I have them, so I can. Uh, what else? Oh, I think I go into the inks. Oh, no my double-sided tape. So in the previous video, I told you I didn't pack any large double-sided tape, which I didn't, um, but I always like to use my eighth, and a, eighth of an inch and quarter inch uh, double-sided adhesive. So I pack one of each of those. I've got a notebook for jotting out, down ideas. I've got um, a my stamping platform, and inside that is a Sizzix sticky grid, so I don't have to use magnets. And then, of course, a pen. A couple things about me. I am a pen junkie. I love, especially with blue ink. And I'm also a bag junkie. And I don't, I'm not talking about, you know, like coach purses and stuff. I like, like, duffel bags and bags with pockets, as you can see, and um, all kinds of bags. Um, these little containers. So I've got my Cricut uh, cutting tool there. I can't even think of what it's called. Um, but the little boxes here, because I generally buy mini ink cubes um, 
for storage purposes and things like that, I just find the minis to be more, just to be better. And so these containers I picked up at Walmart. So I brought all my distress inks and then I have a mixed bag here of Lawn Fawn, Gina K, and my Delicata inks. Um, just because you can't always, you can't stamp with your distress inks, but you can do a ton of different techniques with them. And then these give me the option to be able to stamp if I want to stamp in color. Um, I want to say it's a paper trimmer. That's what it is. God, I couldn't think. Um, okay, so some stamps. This was the uh, the background stamp that I had packed in my initial trip here. Um, and I didn't end up doing anything with it, but here you can see that I did a couple different embossing technique, a different embossing layouts with that linen cardstock, and that's the pretty peonies background stamp. And then I've got the beautiful flowers too, and then I've got the um, petals I think stencil from Pink and Main. I'm not sure on the name. I know that one's the mandala because I use that one. And then I've got the Peony Bouquet stencil from Simon Says Stamp. Uh, again, I went with project ideas. So I've got some Christmas one, Christmas stamp set. Um, that I think is the layering snowflake from Hero Arts. And then I've got Christmas cheer from Simon Says Stamp. And then the uh, Stamp Timber collab between Honey Bee and Simon last year for Stamp Timber is just a general birthday uh, stamp set another Christmas stamp set, but you know, those flowers and things you don't, ha you can use for fall, you know, whatever. You don't have to just limit that color palette for those flowers to Christmas. Uh, I love sentiments. So I have a sentiment stamp set, the tiny Christmas words. And then I've never used this stamp set, but I, I had to have it because I just love the, he heals the brokenhearted. It just, I don't know, it just sits with me. Um, Pink Fresh, I've got this U stamp set and again big sentiment person so I, I like to have a little variety in my sentiments when I you know I'm making my cards and especially if I have to be away from all of what I have um, some basics and then I've got a couple other sentiment uh, Christmas stamp sets that you saw there from Simon Says Stamp and then I have I'm not sure what's okay the dies so I'm just gathering out all the dies and some other some tape so this I don't wear makeup I don't know why I have makeup or makeup brushes, but I do. And um, that, again, I just use that to dust dust off colored pencil shavings and things like that. I was just showing you my purple slippers. Um, I've got just some basic purple tape. It's not from Thermal Web. It's just something from, from Amazon if I need to tape stuff down. This is the Celebrate die from Neat and Tangled. That is the Coordinating You die set from Pink Fresh that goes with that uh, use stamp set and then I've got some greenery from Tim Holtz in in the dies um, I've got my the pink and main those are the floral corners you saw that in last week's video and that's just a calendar uh, I love sentiments again so um, you can do some pretty cool backgrounds and put a nice big sentiment on those to to complete your card so I brought a couple of different sentiments I also love alphabet dies so the versatility that you get with them so I have a couple different ones of those I've got this one here from the greetery all the letters are, are still attached you can c take them apart but I did not because I figure I just cut them out of different things that I could colors or whatever that I need and keep them all together in a box and eventually they'll all get used because you always need an extra letter you know extra of the same letter this is the uh, sentiment starters from the greetery uh, I, I love that too uh, some snowflakes from mama elephant I brought a couple embossing folders this is the love stripes and then I also brought the inspire uh, embossing folder from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, a, another alphabet die set. These I picked up at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago. They remind me of little Scrabble pieces when I layer them up. And this die set is the thin die set, alphabet die set from Pink and Main. And I'm going to show you 
um, the cutouts here in a second. I'm just digging out that greetery just so you can see a size reference, a width re reference and all that stuff um, in comparison. And I'm just digging out um, some of the letters that I had cut from the pink and main letters. So I've got a couple Y's and a U. And here I'm just looking to see if I have a letter that matches to give a better side-by-side -side comparison. And I find the U over in this little cutout. And like I said, pack things based on either projects that you want to do or technique. That's the best way because then you're going to be able to narrow down some of the things that you need. Um, so here's the letters. So the pink, pink and main is the ruby metallic cardstock that you see there on the left and then the gold is the greetery so you can see that there's a size difference there's a width difference um, and again it's nice to have that option and i apologize if i put my arm in front of the microphone so once we get through those and i get those put put back um, below the pink fresh or i'm sorry the pink and main alphabet die set I have some another set of snowflakes these are larger snowflakes from spellbinders and they are just give you more versatility that's it again we're coming into fall and Christmas so it's nice to have those those are the yuletide snowflakes it's nice to have options um, for some card designs that I have now if you are familiar with my channel you know I'm a big fan of inlaid frames so of course the essentials rectangles die set was going to be in the bag and then i've just got a pine cone and um branch set pine branch set um for my dies now i think i pull out oh a stamp you know stamp chamois a cleaner and i think i pull oh no that's in the next bag so i think that finishes up the first bag and now we're going to go into the second bag now this bag is i picked up from harbor freight i think it's called a riggers bag and it's got tons of little pockets it's not a super big bag um so the one thing i don't like about it, it's really stiff and so the skinnier pockets are more designed for like scissors long scissors something that's going to stick out pens or something like that um, so I've got some big scissors, Tim Holt scissors. I've got my Stazon pigment inks just in the Piano Black, Koala Gray, and Snowflake. And I've got some Versifying Claire in uh, Rainforest, Pinecone, and Fallen Leaves. And then, because generally when I stamp like sentiments and stuff, I've got some stamp cleaners. So my sentiments, I generally stamp in brown, black, you know, gray, basics. I don't generally stamp in the colors. So that's why I was able to narrow down just my, um, and I've got crystal glaze there, narrow down to my distress inks and a couple of my other, um, other inks from other companies, Gina K, Lawn Fawn. So I've got some liquid platinum embossing powder, some clear gloss, super fine from WoW and opaque bright white and super fine. I've got some sterling embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and some Gina K soft stone ink and then I've also got the Simon says stamp in fog ink in the larger pad I'm gonna pull that out here in a second and the other thing I'm trying to think yeah here I'm just checking the pockets to make sure I don't miss anything uh, art glitter glue you saw that in a previous video um, spray bottle of water oh uh, I know I have a die cutting machine in there and yep here so I'm pulling out my plates these are just plates for my big shot um, the die cutting machine and some gelatos the die cutting machine I brought is from Momenta is the freestyle that I got on clearance over at Hobby Lobby when I needed to be able to die cut at the beginning of September and or I emboss a stencil and um, just some little different size makeup brushes for blending and here's the freestyle and it's okay it die cuts 
Um, I am disappointed because while they touted the width of the entrance is six inches, the height is really useless, my friends. Um, it's again, it's okay for die cutting. I was able to emboss my stencil, but you can't emboss a 3D embossing folder no matter what you do. It's not it's not high enough. The entrance isn't high enough. And that's a fail, in my opinion. Just some embossing ink right there for it to do embossing. Um, I've got my Wagner heat gun. Uh, absolutely love that thing. I think I paid 20 bucks for it at Amazon several years ago. And I it's got two, two different heat settings, a high and a low. Uh, I just love it. Here are just some different paint brushes. Um, an eraser. I've got, uh, I do have my makeup brushes that I use when I use my gelatos to color with. Um, and then just some watercolor brushes. I do have a blender brush from Tombow that's in there. And other than that, it's really just my um, different watercolor brushes. Now, so the die cutting machine, you can't emboss 3D embossing folders. I'll be honest, I don't even know if I can emboss those regular embossing folders from um, Fun Stamper's Journey. I, ju I just don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I even, because the plate that comes with the Mementa is thicker, the, the, the base plate is thicker than the um, Big Shot um, you know, platform. And so I tested it out at home. So I brought my platform for my big shot because it worked okay. I, you could use two plates and blah, blah, blah. And once I put the die in, it wouldn't cut. I could only use one plate to cut it. And that was after a lot of messing around um, and, and stuff that I basically ruined my platform um, extended platform so I need to get another one um, so disappointed is is I guess the right word um, they could have just raised it a little bit more and it would have been perfect it would have been the perfect travel um, die cutting machine because the things fold up just like the platinum six of course I got it on a fabulous deal um, so a little disappointed uh, here I'm just showing you that it opens up it's great I mean it's perfect size for travel and before COVID hit and everything I used to travel with my husband but you see that entrance is just not why it's not high enough it's wide because you can you know I, I want to be able to do anything with it just like I could my big shot um, I can use my big shot for, to use with my glimmer system and that I just I won't I don't think I'll be able to do that once you put a, a foil plate on there and the shims and all that stuff so I'm, I'm sad I'm gonna have to save up I think for a platinum six because that folds up and I can you know I'll be able to travel with it um, you know especially in time you know situations like this you never know what you're gonna come across when you need to travel with your craft supplies so anyway um, coming up on the end of the video here so I've just got a couple more things I've got uh, just some PVA this is a book binding glue so it's a little bit different than the art glitter glue I've got my first VersaFine onyx black ink and I've got that stencil adhesive which I'm still on the fence about it's a bit messy um, even compared to my spray adhesive that you know spray adhesive gets everywhere but that it's I don't know the jury's still out just and then just some blocks and a bullet pencil sharpener um, for pencils or my colored pencils but oh and a studio light again that's not necessary because unless you need to create videos like I do on the go you don't really need that and these were perfect because I have larger studio lights at home that I would never travel with but that wraps it up I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys got some value out of it if you did please hit subscribe like comment and share Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.